Hello there and welcome to a first in a series of videos about how to play the saxophone. My name's Thomas Lumley um, and I'm going to guide you through a few things about the saxophone to get you started basically. Now to start with we're going to look at setup. The basic setup of the saxophone is somewhat like this. You have your three parts. And the main part of this is the body where all the keys are, where your fingers go. Then you have this section here, which is called the crook, or the neck. And you have this section here. Now this section is actually comprised of three sections. You have the mouthpiece, the reed, and the ligature. And the ligature holds the reed onto the mouthpiece. Now the way a single reed instrument, which is the saxophone is, works is the single reed vibrates between your bottom lip and the top of this part of the mouthpiece. So, if you've just taken your saxophone out of its case, well done. Congratulations, you've got yourself a horn. Set it up as you see here. Let's take the body, take the neck, fit the neck to the top of the body like so. Making sure this is tight enough they won't fall out but not too tight to constrict it. Now then you want to take your mouthpiece, take your reed, place it on this part, it's called the table, and carefully position it so that you've got something that looks like that. And take your ligature, most ligatures, this is a Francois Louis ligature, but most ligatures um, are sort of some form of band with a screw for tightening. And this slides over here. Now, some mouthpieces, maybe your mouthpiece will have a line that indicates where to fit it to. I usually fit it something like that, just there on the reed, like that. Now, this mouthpiece then fits on the end of this part here. And the reason it has some adjustment there is so that you can Push it much further on for a sharp sound and then take it off for a flatter sound depending on tuning depending on the heat of the instrument and such um, now then okay you've set your instrument up well done next you want to know how to hold it so with your left hand, you want to place your index finger on this key here. You want to place your middle finger on this key here. Not this one, this one. You want to place your ring finger on this key here. You want to place your little finger here. So it covers these. Your thumb on the back fits here, like that. And these three keys, called the palm keys, fit under your palm, would you believe it? So, that's the position of your left hand. Your right hand slots under the thumb rest here, your index finger on this key here, 
middle finger this key here, ring finger this key here. It's a bit more self-explanatory on the right hand. Then your little finger covers these two here. You do have these here, but we'll talk about that in a later time. And that is where your fingers go. Next, I'm gonna get your strap. You wanna place your strap over your neck like this. Some people use a harness. If you have a harness, it'll be there'll be a clip here. Same thing, really. Just spreads the weight onto your shoulders. It's a slightly different position, but it's the same thing. Um, you want to adjust it so that the saxophone feels comfortably balanced between your thumb here and your hands here and your neck here. And so that it fits a straight line into your bottom lip there. Now in terms of posture, you want to keep your, your legs quite supple. You want to keep your back fairly straight, but still relaxed, not too tense. You want to imagine looking sort of straight ahead through the instrument. So you're going like this, not, not, not right there, not, not too right there. Straight, and that way projection and when you breathe and when you blow out, the air will travel straight forwards into the instrument and not with any resistance. And yeah, so I'm going to stay fairly relaxed, legs shoulder width apart, I mean you can stand sort of lunge if you like, but staying fairly relaxed on the feet, maybe on not too much on the heels as well, because posture is very important and all musicians have to look at posture, constantly have on your mind, especially, especially if you're practicing technical exercises, because then it becomes automatic and it becomes part of your play. So, you have your setup, you have your posture, you have your positions. The next thing we want to look at is breathing. How to breathe. So, what I like to think about is trying to breathe as low as possible. Breathing from here rather than from up here. Because most of us, we breathe from this quite high up in the chest. You want to breathe from lower down here in the abdomen, so... And that way you have more power, you have more flexibility, you have more choices, and you have a better sound. And this is, is linked to your posture. So if you have a loose posture, and your stance is good, you can breathe properly. If you're too tensing, or too, it's going to be strange, it's going to, be, it's going to feel weird. So, before you've even made a note, I'd urge you to practice this. Hold the saxophone in front of a mirror, preferably, then you can see what you're doing. Hold the saxophone, check your fingers are in the right position. Does it feel comfortable? Do, if this doesn't feel comfortable, if the weight distribution between this and this doesn't feel comfortable, adjust it. It's very easy to adjust. You can adjust the length of this, you can adjust this, position of this, if it's digging into your thumb, adjust it. You want it to be as comfortable as possible when you play. And then stay relaxed. Breathe in and breathe out. And imagine breathing out through the instrument. And that's the posture you want when you play. You haven't even put the saxophone in your mouth at this stage. You're just imagining playing those notes. And then in the next video, we'll look at sound production. We'll look at embouchure. We'll look at the position here and how to get a good sound there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and uh, good luck with your new purchase. Till next time.